Hey, uh, Mike Hughes here with Dive News Network. I'm here over at uh, reef.org and I'm talking to Elizabeth and you're going to tell me a little bit what you're doing with all these lionfish and stuff. Exactly. So I'm the lionfish program coordinator at Reef Environmental Education Foundation and we're heavily involved with lionfish research, education and outreach um, and awareness. Um, so a lot of what we do is we help divers and snorkelers um, learn techniques and tools to go out mm -hmm. and remove lionfish on their own. Um, okay. And we put a heavy emphasis on safety. Right. Um, so one of the things that we highly encourage divers to use are the these puncture resistant gloves. And those are the same kind of um, gloves that you'll see in the medical um, offices or exactly. hospitals. Exactly. So we can actually do really a little, thick a little test here. Uh huh. So the protection is all on the palm here, and you can actually see that when you stick a needle in, it doesn't Ouch. go through. It looks like it would hurt, but it doesn't go through, which is good because when yes. you look at the spines that these guys have on them. Exactly. So all of these dorsal spines here are venomous, um, so you want to make sure to be very, very careful about those spines. Okay. What about the side ones, too? <clears throat> so these beautiful side pectoral fins, these are fine. There's no venom. Just the top where you got to watch Just out the for. top, and then they're actually on the belly of the fish. Yes. These are called pelvic fins. Mm -hmm. and on the leading edge of each pelvic fin there's one short spine and then also back here on the belly of the fish the anal fin there are three short spines right and those are venomous as well okay so there's a couple of places you got to watch there's a couple places you have to watch out for the gloves Yes, and we also have these great um, zookeepers. Okay. So if you're ever spearfishing lionfish, mm -hmm. um, you actually don't even have to touch the fish. So you have the lionfish on the end of the spear. All you have to do is stick the lionfish in the spear in this tube. And then this is a scored funnel. So when you pull the spear back out, the lionfish stays in this container. Right, and the spear comes out. And I've showed you the um, spears. They're right, once right here all wrapped up. But we showed you that in one of the earlier videos a couple years ago. And then, but then, since then, you've advanced. Um, we've got some other things here, like the uh, a 4D puzzle with lionfish. Um, is that the, from the 4D puzzle? Yes. So this is what the 4D puzzle looks like when it's put together. Okay. It really looks uh, real. So let's just spare him and put him in here. Oh, no. Um, and also, besides that, we've got um, the lionfish cookbook. So everything you ever wanted to cook with a lionfish. Exactly. There's about 60 recipes in there, and they're all delicious. Okay. And we started with maybe one or two lionfish. And exactly. now, if you look at the whole list, um, it, the lionfish distribution came in, went through the Caribbean, uh, went into the Gulf of Mexico, all the way over to um, Freeport, um, Texas, uh, actually, off the side of the um, uh, Flower Garden Banks yes. Reef. So they're everywhere. They are very widespread, and they're now making their way down the coast of South uh, so these, America. Now, they, they change colors, too, when they're going, because if you look in Hawaii or Guam, they're really light-colored, but when you get to the... Um, Caribbean they're really dark there is some definitely color variation I've seen some really really pale lionfish some deep brown lionfish like this color um, some orange lionfish is it geographical orange. distribution or you know I haven't really noticed a pattern I think it's just whatever they feel variation, like I guess <laughs> okay and what's the biggest one you've seen I mean this one is a looks this is a pretty hefty one that's a um, me on a half <laughs> they can get up to 18 inches um, okay and then this one that's uh, on this particular mount um, there's a company called mount this fish company yes and they have their own little dot org thing um, you can find about oh it's mountfish.net if i could just get this card in the frame here uh, which i can't seem to do my camera doesn't want to work with this okay here we go mount this.net and so when you get your big lionfish and you're not much of a good cooker Most of the time, we find <laughs> or a chef right then you can do that or you go the other route and then you can look at all the recipes that you can have with uh, um, your lionfish exactly and how to prepare it to cook it without exactly. getting hurt exactly yes. while wearing your gloves <laughs> Yes, safety first. Okay, well I think that just about wraps it up and we've got the newest update. Um, thank you very much and thank you. good luck with the lionfish. Thank you.